your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. How do we do on temps? Boy, it was hot out there. Here at the studio is 91, 65 the low this morning, 87 66 are your averages. Grimber Post Buildings Weather Cam. Some blue skies out there, a few clouds forming up up to the northwest there, or the northeast, I should say. Of course, this is the day where we hit the all time record high from 1936. Ah, that was a hot day, 110 degrees. Storms threaten Saturday early. More rain next week than it looks like cooling late next week. And there's those numbers July. Back in 1936, nine consecutive record highs, the 6th through the 14th, including uh, today in 1936, it hit 110 degrees. Well, that shouldn't say thunderstorm watch. That should say weather alert or air quality alert for Indiana on Sunday due to particulates in the air. So if you're active or have a health issue like a respiratory issue, take it easy Sunday. 90 at the airport. Feels like 98. South breeze at 10. Pressure falling from 29.84. No rain today. We'll see how we do Saturday morning. It's not going to be a widespread rain, but it could be heavy in spots. Severe threat's really low, though. We'll check on that later tonight, too, and update you if needed. 60 at Paris this morning, 62 at the airport, 66 Washington. Well, warmed up, 95 at Flora and Effingham, 94 at Effingham, or at uh, Vincennes. Current temps, pretty close to the highs, and it feels like 102 at Vincennes, so you get the idea. Very summer-like. Tomorrow, a lot cooler with the rain coming in, and the wind shifting to the north-northwest. It's going to be cooler tomorrow, low 80s. That's a few degrees below normal. Once we get the rain out of here, humidity and dew point numbers drop. South wind at 9, 5 to 10. Clouding up to the north now as we go through the overnight on the Metro View. This evening, you'll be okay if you want to go out. Dinner, shopping, a movie, everything's fine. Rainfall, you can see midnight. Well, to the north of us, we may have some activity. And here's a big system brewing up out here. It's been hitting the Kansas City area. Pretty good line of showers and storms there. And off around Quincy as well. Closer look on the local satellite and radar. You can see a little blow up of a storm now. It's moved into Richland County and back around the Quincy area. Here's a live look. Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. There's this little cell down here around Olney. Go back to the northwest of Springfield. They've got some thunderstorm activity there. That will stay away from us, though. That's going to move northwest of Champaign. Models pick that up pretty good. Now, as we go through the overnight, we're okay. And then here we go. After midnight, you can see showers and storms start to move through the area. Pretty much a repeat of last Saturday. Could be out of here pretty early in the day Saturday. If that's the case, and then most of the weekend would be dry. We certainly think Saturday or Sunday will be dry. Rainfall amounts, numbers are all over the place. If you get a thunderstorm, two and a half at Florida, we'll see. Then lighter amounts at airports, maybe two at Paris. That kind of gives you an idea that it could be some heavy thunderstorms, but the rain's uh, going to be hit or miss in some spots as well. Now, for tonight, well past midnight, thunderstorms, 70 for the low, very muggy. Then tomorrow, we're talking about early round of showers and thunderstorms. Some of those could linger into the afternoon hours as well. A little cooler at 83 degrees. And then, as you look ahead at the seven-day forecast, we're going to talk about more showers and storms coming up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And a little bit cooler as we go into Friday, so... Uh, Grant, it's just a rainy month of July so far.